John Wayne's net worth was estimated to be around $7 million when he passed away in 1979. Due to inflation, that would be somewhere closer to $25 million in today's dollars. The actor acquired a massive amount of money, most of which Wayne made appearing in a number of hit westerns. The actor enjoyed the beach, spending his final years in a waterfront property. According to reports, the last home John Wayne never lived in was in the house is in Newport Beach, California, on the edge of the water facing Balboa Island. He lived there for 14 years until he passed away. Before that, he was living in a large five-acre ranch in Encino. I'm glad I came down here to live 14 years ago. I sure as hell couldn't afford it now, John Wayne had said. The house, although it has a striking view and was in a gated community, was modest for one of the most popular film actors of that generation. He had a beautiful study in his house, which happened to be the largest room in his house. It has a fireplace as well as a collection of western-themed art that would be the biggest clue in the house that the Duke lived there. He had Native American artifacts, Kakina dolls, prints, and oils in the room. Wayne loved to go antiquing, which was clear with the beautiful and unique pieces he once had in the house. While he was filming movies and trapped in hotel or motel rooms, he would venture out to different antique stores around. John Wayne also had trophies and artifacts from his many travels. His desk had photos of his children boating photos, and a snapshot of him alongside Henry Fonda and John Ford. He had one wall that he called the 50 Years of Hard Work Wall, which included his True Grit Oscar. Wayne House was sold in 2013. According to various sources, the house was put on the market in 2013 for $3.95 million. The 400-square-foot home is now in a popular gated community. However, the house doesn't necessarily have that charm that someone would expect from a John Wayne home. This is because the house was renovated by previous owners. Any of Wayne's old collectibles, artifacts, and 70s decor are long gone. Now the house is just a piece of history in the movie star's life. Everything else has been redone and has a more modernized look. For new owners, the house holds history. But they went with their own style instead of the Duke's. A large station wagon, far from new, is parked near the front entrance. The house in Newport Beach, California though it occupies a splendid setting at the water's edge facing Balboa is negation land is simple and unpretentious. There is nothing to suggest that this is the private world of a superstar, the home of an American legend. Nevertheless, John Wayne has lived here for some 14 years, ever since moving south from a five-acre ranch in Encino. He had long been familiar with Newport Beach, how negation ever, and he remembers the days when it was no more than a village. I'm glad I came down here to live 14 years ago he says. I sure as hell couldn't afford it now. The reference to current real estate prices in Orange County is appealingly direct. There is, in fact, nothing indirect about John Wayne at all or about his house. Pretensions had better be left outside, somewhere along the Pacific Coast Highway. Nothing, however, is quite that simple, and Mr. Wayne's personality is no exception. He is a man far more complex, far more sophisticated and far more sensitive than his archetypal screen image might suggest. For ex negation ample, his house means a great deal to him its antiques, its decor, its comforts and it is hardly a place to throw down the saddlebags and kick a bedroll into the corner. Mr. Wayne's study, the largest room in the house presents the clearest and most compelling image of the man himself. It is warm and generous and comfortable, most definitely a man's room. The paneling and the fireplace and the small collection of guns strengthen the feeling, 
and there are many fine examples of Western Amer negation icon art bronzes and prints and oils as well as many American Indian art negation artifacts. A favorite collection of Kakina dolls, for example, was begun long ago, in the days when John Wayne used to ride into Monument Valley in Arizona to make films. Everywhere in the study are the memorabilia of his remarkable career as an actor. The walls around his massive desk contain innumerable photographs and plaques marking the notable events of that career. One wall in particular, rising above a shelf on which rests the Oscar he received for his performance in True Grit, is referred to by Mr. Wayne as the 50 years of hard work wall. It is also a record of memories and friendships, pictures of his children, a faded photograph of himself with John Ford and Henry Fonda and Ward Bond, proudly disnegation playing a sailfish caught near Cabo San Lucas in the early 1930s. The memorabilia, the mementos, the awards, the trophies all attest to the variety of places John Wayne has visited, whether making films on local negation shun or traveling for pleasure. And for more than 30 years now, in the course of these travels, he has been collecting furniture and art and objects of all kinds. The range of his acquisitions has been wide and, as he admits, somewhat haphazard. There are porcelain jarred mirrors from Honolulu, marvelous figures from Bali, acquired just after World War II when the area was relatively unknown and largely undiscovered by tourists. There are antiques he found in Colo Negation Rado Springs, furniture from Madrid, figurines from Kyoto and a good deal of impressive Alaskan art. When making a film on location, nothing gives Mr. Wayne more plea negation sure than spending his free time browsing through whatever antiques shops are available. His curiosity leads him everywhere, and he has picked things up in many an unlikely place. There is a porcelain table with a Ptnagation Estel base, now on the terrace at New Negation Port Beach, that he found in one of the poorest sections of Puerto Vallarta. While making a film in Fort Benning, Georgia, he came across a favorite empire table. His interest in collecting is a compelling one, and it is his habit to take treasured prints or small negation ticks along with him on location. You often have to stay for a couple of months in some horrible motel room, he explains. Well, I like to put a few familiar things on the wall. I try to dress the place up a little, make it seem more like home. He is, of course, happiest when back in his house at Newport Beach. Look, he says, I find things that appeal to me, and I try to blend them in here. I don't give a damn whether anyone else likes them or not. But I think I've done a pretty fair job. There is no mock modesty involved in these words, but there is more than a hint of understatement. The words say a good deal about John Wayne. They evoke a particularly human imnegation age the image of a man of gentleness and sensitivity, a man deeply interested in his family and in his home. Perhaps in the last analysis this is a larger and more solid image of John Wayne than the familiar one seen on all the film screens of the world.